Welcome back. Today I am going to show you how to install Ride the Lightning, a full function web user interface manager for your Lightning Node operations. First, we will need to install a REST API server that will allow Ride the Lightning to communicate with our core Lightning node. The Ride the Lightning developers have built an implementation of such a server. So everything that we need is available on their GitHub, which will simplify things a lot. So the objective for this tutorial is to run Ride the Lightning on our core Lightning host machine, but also on another computer within our local network over an SSL encrypted secure channel. Let's begin. My core lightning node is running. Let's install the REST server first. Get the latest release. So, we need a lightning node, and Node.js, for building and running Ride the Lightning. Let's follow the links. Two copy pastes. To avoid some permission issues when building the server, do the following. Run the top two commands. Now append this line to the file profile at home. And finally, source the file profile. Okay. Let's download the software. There's the signing key. Let's get it. And there's a tar file of the whole repo, and its digital signature. Verifying the signature. Good signature. I'll move the file home, and expand it. There's just one configuration file that we need to set, and then we can build the server from source. The defaults on that sample configuration file, up there, are good. I will just rename it, and use it. If you are using the default core lightning data directory path, this will probably work for you. So, remember, the default listening port of the REST server is 3001. To build the server from source, type npm install. Done. And you run the server, typing node followed by the path to this JS file. And the server is running. Listening. On port. 3001. Now we will do the same for Ride the Lightning. Download the software, check its digital signatures, build it, and write a configuration file so we can run it. Here are the instructions for Core Lightning. Read the prerequisites. Core Lightning node. Node.js installed. Running REST server. And the path to the access.macaroon file that the REST server generated when we first ran it. It's inside the subdirectory, certificates. So let's go and get the latest release.
the tar file expanded into a directory called RTL. To build Ride the Lightning, type npm install with the option only equals prod. If you run into dependency issues, add the option legacy peer depths. It might take a while. Just leave it alone until it finishes. A few moments later. And it's done. Let's go rename that sample configuration file and edit it. First, set a password for accessing Ride the Lightning. Notice that the default listening port is 3000. If you want, you can change the name of your node. You have to specify the Lightning implementation that you are running. Type CLN for Core Lightning. Next, the path to the access macaroon file. The path to the core lightning configuration file. You can do away with the next two lines, but make sure to delete that comma. Change merchant into operator. For dark mode, change day into night. Ride the lightning can manage backups as well. Although we have covered this issue extensively, here you have another chance to keep another backup on a different location. I will create a subdirectory in the core lightning data directory. And finally, you need to specify the listening port of the REST API server, 3001. Delete the next two lines, and you are done. To run Ride the Lightning, type node RTL. Ride the Lightning is running and listening on port 3000. Let's test it here, on our local host machine. Open a web browser. Type, HTTP, localhost, port 3000. It works. Type your password. And there you have it. From Ride the Lightning you can control most aspects of your core Lightning node. You can also add two-factor authentication for logging in. So, this is where we are. Everything is happening on our local host machine. But now I want to access Ride the Lightning from a remote computer. And I should encrypt communications. I will be using a web server. In a reverse proxy configuration. I will go through the process of installing and configuring Nginx for this purpose. In the links below, there is a video where I explain this procedure in greater detail. Please check it out, before going on, if this concept is new to you. So, here we go. Install Nginx. Overwrite the default configuration file, to use Nginx, only as a reverse proxy. Create a self-signed SSL certificate, for Nginx. Enable Nginx reverse proxy to route external encrypted HTTPS traffic internally to ride the lightning. Check Nginx configuration and restart it. Nginx is listening on port 3002. Let's try accessing ride the lightning again from our local machine through Nginx. Type HTTPS localhost port 3002 we get a warning due to the self-signed certificate continue Nginx is working we are almost ready to be able to access ride the lightning from a remote computer 
we need to add a new firewall rule for allowing incoming traffic to port 3002 only from our local network. I am ready to change computers. Before I do that, I need to know the IP address of this machine, which is where I will be connecting to, 192.168.192. Ok. I'm in another computer. HTTPS. 192.168.192. Port 3002. Congratulations! You are accessing Ride the Lightning, remotely. Over an SSL encrypted secure channel. To stop Ride the Lightning, press Ctrl C. The same for the REST API server. Ctrl C. Next time, I will show you how to access Ride the Lightning and how to connect the Zeus mobile wallet to your node, from anywhere in the world. Over Tor. Until then. Bye bye.